this. All right, I'm gonna make this a fast one because I just put pizza in and I don't want it to burn. SMSL SU8. What is it? It's a DAC. You see, why do I give a shit about this DAC? There are 100 DACs that are cheaper than this because it's a $250 DAC. You know, uh, 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 oh. Oh, it's got a remote control. And it's balanced? Oh! All right, two key features. Two key users are going give, to give a shit about this video. Um, desk users, hi, how you doing? I'm Zeus. You will want this because balanced output. Now, if you're a crazy headphone audiophile, uh, crazy headphone audiophiles want balanced amplifiers, which basically means XLR hookups, which is a better system for long distances, but we're not going to discuss that. Balanced, left, right, newest ESS, I forget which DAC, isn't it? Which DAC on? This is quick. It's the um, ES9038Q2M, obviously, and it sounds great. There's a reason I'm reviewing this. Number one, it's going to work really well in two scenarios. Number two, this fucking thing sounds great. Like, it's like as good a DAC as you'll ever need. Desktop people. Desk. Here. Me. Right now. Put on these. Powered monitors on your desk, right? Remote control. Grant, you don't need it on the desk. The other half of the world that could use this are living room people. Fiber optic input. It's got coaxial fiber optic and USB. I always use fiber optic, but TVs have fiber optic outputs. You want to watch Amazon, you know, Hand of God, great show by the way. Load up Amazon on your TV, fiber optic in. You get your remote. You can get a pair of Atom T5Vs and just sit there and be like, I'm going to watch TV now. You want a subwoofer? I can hook up a subwoofer. Here's my uh, Mackie M MRS-10. We can take um, these RCA cables and hook them right into the back of this unit because it has a keyboard on the wires. It has XLRs and RCA outputs that are both variable with the remote. It's got, here's your connections, here's your main power brick, full-size power brick, by the way, which I love. No external bullshit, no fucking giant transformer. Just this, straight into it. Did I mute this? And every night. Oh, so sexy. He's very sexy. Okay, so if you're on a desk, you want a DAC. I got a headphone amp. Even if you got a tube amp, like I'm running this fucking tour, and I'm RCA out into the quarter inch adapter of the tour to listen to this. Don't mute this. I want to mute these. Sorry for this confusion. Uh, I've legitimately had like a little bit of an eargasm, just a little tiny eargasm. And I'm like, well, you know what, DAX, they're all the same. All DAX are the same, right? We're all the fucking same. It's a really... If you max it out, it goes, the volume goes from zero or min to 38, which is max, which is a very, very weird scale, but that's what it does. It also goes there at the correct speed. Uh, 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 some things are way too slow, like the volume control. That's a make or break for a living room setup. If you hit the volume and it doesn't go down fast enough or up fast enough, it just feels like you're wasting your time. And whoever designed this took the time to really feel out up and down the volume. I know that's a weird, stupid thing, but trust me, it annoys me. So right now, this tube amp on this, maxing it out, HD600s on a tube, and you got a good DAC, and this is a good DAC. I'm not just giving it a review because it's a useful DAC, it's a good and useful DAC. It's the best of two worlds. Next song, hold on. By the way, I programmed the Flirk to change tracks on these two buttons, and it was a mistake because we'll get to it in a second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna lower this. And then I'm gonna turn these back on. Million girls. Mute. So on a desk, you buy this, you feed it with RCA, that's fine. You wanna get powered monitors, that's fine. You wanna get a balanced amp like the uh, Own S7. In the review of the Own S7, I use this to feed it. In the review of the 
Stax L300 Limited Edition. I use this to feed the S7, to feed the IFI converter, to feed the Stax L300s. This is good. It's good. It's really good. It's Look at the build on it. Do you want simpler than this? Do you want it? It's got three rubber feet so that it balances. That's attention to detail or being cheap? It's, I can't tell. It's beautiful. It's got this screen in the front. See, it says moot. Guess what? The thing also says volume. Go down to min. It's a really fancy font. Remote control, power, mute. You never have to really shut this off, but you have a power button. You hit mute, it says mute. You don't, it'll either say the kilohertz input or volume or the input itself. So it says optical there. You wanna change from optical to coaxial to USB DAC? There you go. Input select, screen select, and then A, B, and C. Usually you have to hit A or nothing works. On this unit you have to hit C or nothing works. And then you could adjust the volume up and down, etc., etc. If you hit this center button, we get to the menu. Now there's five pages. The first one and the fifth one are useless because it just lets you change the input even though it's on the remote. Now when you have just this, just this button here, so you can just go through this and change inputs and then turn it off with a hold, but that's the only function of this front button. I can find no other function or way to control it. It really needs more because if you lose remote, you're fucked. But now let's go back to that menu. And did you see how small the writing is? This is like um, Sansa clip levels of small. And if you go to input, it'll say optical and then it'll just go away. So if we go back to that and then we hit right, well that changes it. Uh -uh. Hit it again, okay, now. Second page, PCM filters. Now I don't fully give a shit about PCM filters. Basically it's the way the DAC makes the waveform. and. On this unit, you have the options of, let me go back to this first one, fast linear, slow linear, fast minimum, slow minimum, fast hybrid, appetizing, uh, and brick wall. Why is there no slow hybrid? Why is there only a fast hybrid? I don't know what appetizing is, but I left it on that because why not? And then brick wall, I'm not sure if brick wall is a filter to fix brick wall music or to make everything sound like it has a brick wall. Probably the latter would be worse, so I'm gonna leave it on appetizing, that's fine. So okay, we have filters, what's next, Dios? Third one, display mode, and that's, again, stupid. It's the first one and the third one are stupid, because why, I, I could just pick what I wanna see. So it either shows the display of inputs or it shows the kilohertz, or it shows the volume. I have it set for the volume. I wanna see the volume when I'm looking at it. Next, page four. Actually, let's go to page five for a second. Page five is the, is the brightness. So you can dim it, have it auto dim or leave it on full. Going back around, page four. Page four is important. Whether you're using it on a desk on a headphone amp or on a desk with XLRs, which you'd have to, if you're gonna use both, you could use both. It's just a matter of, you wanna kinda have it when you're using one of these maxed out and you don't wanna do that for this. So unless you added another volume control between this and this and this, so it's up to you. On a, on a living room, this is more for the light person because the Mini DS PhD is the balls to the walls most useful fucking device ever. I love the DAC in it. It's got fiber optic input. It's got four RCA outputs. You can control every aspect of it. You can change cutoffs, add delays, fix volumes, just run room corrections. But this is simple. You put this in the living room, you get powered monitors, you plug them in with XLR, you get an RCA cable. You have to get a subwoofer with a left and right inputs. You plug them in. You now have speakers and a subwoofer, real quick, with fiber optic input. You don't even have to read the book. But, but, if you get to page four of the, of the menu in here, you get, and I don't want to call it an EQ, and I'm going to take my time with this a little bit because it's one of the nicer features this has. You know when you get a device and it's like, EQ, pop rock, vocals, you know, lo-fi, hi-fi, you know, brick, V-shaped, and they're all really exaggerated bullshit, and I hate, and you hate them, you never use them. No one gets a device and goes, I'm gonna put in the pop EQ, and it's fucking fine, it's never fine. What this does is it has a sound setting, and number one is standard, which is flat. And then you go through it, and then there's rich one, two, and three, tube one, two, and three, and crystal one, two, and three. And I could tell you from listening, because it's what I have to do, it's sort of my job. 
It's a very quiet song. Let's start. It's also a shit song for this. Oh, I have it set to change tracks. Back to Kenny Loggins, you bastard. Oh. Instead of doing an EQ, it's just doing like tweaks. Hey, we're gonna make it sound a little more rich, or a little more tuby, or a little more crystal. And crystal does bring up the highs, like, mmm. Crystal one is like, uh, and it's different flavors of each thing, and it's three main categories with different flavors. And I love it because I think if you have the right speakers, now these are $1,000 A5Xs from Adam, so I would leave them on standard. But if you're just using any old thing or, you, or your room calls for it or maybe your source calls for it, you could just flavor the sound a little bit. Just put a little more pepper on that. Tube, I had the tube output of this. I'm going to cover it. Running through the RCA outs into the tube and I was like, what the fuck is happening? So, now it's not going to replace the tube. The tube is a weird thing. But I like this better than any of the EQ on things. I wish it had more options. I wish it had five things with three. Or ten things with three. I wish it was like tube and crystal and 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 then like like quiet. I don't know. Make up some shit. Boobs. Make it the boobs setting. I leave it on boobs too. Because boobs three would be weird. This thing... Sounds amazing. Has a remote. Is, I'm going to say only $250, and that seems like a lot. But for a balanced DAC with the newest chipset in it, and no power brick to deal with, and, ah, uh, and look at it, and look at it. Zeo's fucking approves of this. Get off my lap. Get off my lap, and off my lawn. Yeah, I, I, if you're, want a DAC, if you just want a DAC, I mean, I have right here, I'm going to get to the review of the Element DAC, just the, the, the JBS EL DAC. I have the old DAC. I mean, I got this as a DAC, and that's a DAC. The Mini DSP is a DAC. I got some DACs here. I may buy one of these. This was sent to me by someone who bought it and said, hey, you want to review this? And I'm like, what is that? Yes. So, um, it may inspire me. I could put this in my living room, hook up my crown amps to this, hook up my laptop with a USB, and just go, next, volume, volume up and down, and control my entire living room, including the other subwoofer thing, just, it's so nice, it's so simple, it's, 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 it's the best product SMSL has ever made, period, and SMSL, I love them, if they continue with this, I want to see like a little headphone amp that fits this exact this form factor is great it's like an iphone booyah look at it nice and thin and light it's heavy it's really heavy it doesn't get warm like i said you'd have to shut off i i i recommend this wholeheartedly to anyone who wants a good dac for their desk even if you don't need balance right now you never know what the future holds and you never know if you want to get powered monitors and then you can just output from this to that and uh 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 all right Wallpaper in the description. This is a short one, wasn't it? It was exciting and short, and I felt it. Wallpaper in the description. Yes. Link to the Patreon, which will pack this up and send it back, and if, I, if something new comes out and no one offers it to me, I will buy it with the Patreon money, possibly put in the yard sales, which gets rid of things from the 1st to the 10th of every month. You want to check that out. Um, I also answer your questions, and there's going to be a special Telegram chat. HiFiGuides.com, check that out. That's being worked on with the forums, which would be very helpful to people, because it, well, because it isn't HeadFi. Um, links to, to everything and anything. I'll link to some powered monitors. If you're like, I have a living room, and I want to have good sound on my television, buy one of these, buy one of these, buy a pair of those, and some XLRs, and you're good. I'll, it'll be linked in the description. Just, you, oh my god. You, oh. My, I wish I lived a normal life so I could be like, you know what, I really need my living room to be better. Uh, instantly. Boom. This, those, done. And what else am I linking? Uh, me, hi, how you doing? Uh, yes, and good night. My pizza's burning. I can smell it. Anyway, links to this. It's good. It sounds good. It sounds good. On top of all this.